This episode of Kitchen Dance, we're doing a spring pea and ricotta bruschetta. It's really great. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Cliff, and welcome to Kitchen Dance, where we're all about fun and food and family. We make a lot of food that's good for your soul, and food that's good for your body, and a whole bunch that's in between. One of the things I really love about spring are all the vegetables when they start popping, asparagus, and especially spring peas. They're sweet, they're, they're just, you can just eat them. I mean, sometimes we do, we just put a bowl around and we just eat them. Um, here's a nice little bruschetta. It's good for a party or a little appetizer or maybe after work and you don't want anything too heavy. So uh, it's super simple. We've got 10 ounces of spring peas, all right? You're gonna, need to, you're gonna need to put these in your food processor, all right? We have a half a cup of coated cheese. And for this, get the full fat. You're not using, you're not using the whole lot. We want some of that flavor. So I would go, I would not get the, the fat free or the low fat variety. And um, we also have about uh, a half a cup of, of Parmesan. We're gonna save, we have, this is a cup, but we're gonna save half to sprinkle on top. So we're gonna put some Parmesan in, all right? We're gonna finish this off with a little bit of fresh ground pepper, a quarter teaspoon, and a quarter teaspoon of salt, all right? Now we're gonna we're gonna whiz these up. We don't want this to become liquid, so we still kind of want it chunky. Um, it, you know, if if these are peas that are shelled, you can always do this with peas that are still in the shell. It adds another component. Just pull the string off the back, right? So let's go ahead and whiz this up. Now you might have to take it and push it down halfway through, or maybe two or three times. All right, that's about the consistency that we want. Let me get rid of this. If you like mint, you can always add some mint to this. All right, now all we're gonna do is we've taken our toast. Now, we've just taken a baguette, we sliced it up, we brushed it with olive oil. You can put it in the oven until crisp up, you can put it on the broiler for about a minute, or you put it on the grill. However you wanna do it, just make toast, all right? And then, at this point, you can see the kind of the consistency. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna put some on our toast points. We're gonna use a smaller spoon for this. Don't be stingy. We don't need a huge amount on it, but we want enough that people can taste it. All right. So now we have a little more Parmesan. We're gonna sprinkle on top here. Again, it's to your taste. We have one scallion or green onion that we've chopped up. You don't need a lot, but it adds a nice little contrast to the peas and to the cheese. And I like to hit it again with just a little bit of pepper, just a little bit, not much. All right, let's try one of these things. Mmm. Very fresh, creamy from the ricotta, balances well against the bread. I think you're gonna like this. Get some fresh peas and give it a shot.